Let's learn to comp. 12 bar blues is the easiest way to, you can learn to comp. Okay, uh, everybody has to know the 12 bar blues, and this is the Nakia G. Okay, your first chord you want to learn is G13. You're not going to hit the fifth and sixth string on these, you just want to hit the four strings. We don't want to get in the bass player's way. Okay, so and now we want a C9. Same thing, we're staying out of the bass player's way. You can bar that, those three, you can bar that with your uh, second finger. Probably most people do. I learned by myself, and so I learned everything wrong. I have no idea what I'm doing. Here's a G7, sharp five. I'm going to use that, okay? Get these under your fingers real good. Get these on your hands. I'm going to put them to work right here in this video, and you're going to have a lot of fun with this. There's a D9. Use your second finger if you want instead of the third. If you've gone through my other lessons, which I hope you have, you'll know how to read all these. This is a D7, sharp nine. Don't hit the first string or the sixth string. It's called inside four. It's the inside four strings only. And uh, I'm going to get back to you here. We're going to put these to work and have a lot of fun, okay? You've heard me cop and you decide you want to do it. Okay, it's a lot of fun. Okay, what you want to do is you want to keep it kind of simple. At first, and then you can get fancy later on. Now this is in the key of G. Now you can take this and a lot of blues are played in B flat. Movable, these are movable chord forms. You can move them, play in any key, in key of C. Like that. Okay, so we got that down. Now, uh, back in the 1960s, I played with a uh, organ trio, Jimmy Caravan, a great organ player. And uh, when I, he played lead, all he wanted me to do was this. He didn't want a lot of garbage in there. None of this stuff. Or, you know. You don't want that kind of stuff. And, and so that's what I did when I played lead. He just did that. Kind of stay out of the way. And, uh, and then later in the years, I played with a lot of good musicians and stuff. And that's all they want. They don't want that banging around. They want nice, just stay out of their way. Just give them a little rhythm there. Okay, so uh, let's go through these chords first off, okay? G13. We're going to have one bar of G13. There's 12 bar blues. Everybody should know this. G13. One bar of C9. One more bar of G13. One bar G7 sharp five. Two bars of C9. Two bars of G13. One bar D9. One bar C9. One bar G13. And then D7 sharp nine, one bar. Turn it around. Okay, I'll play along here. You can play along with me or just get the feeler. Three, four. Okay, now you're saying you want to stay out of the bass player's labor. You're saying, well, listen, you're in the lead player's way because you're hitting this high note. It really doesn't get in the way. You just have to hear, use your ears and listen and soften up so that you don't get in their way. And uh, But if you do, uh, don't want that to sound, you don't have to hit that first string. Just hit the second and third, second, third, and fourth string and use the same formation. Just go like this. Like that, or you can mix it up sometimes all four strings, sometimes only three. Okay, and you can get 
fancy later on you want to slide around later on little things you get very creative with this type of thing I'm going to put some tracks up and have you have some tracks to practice on right now so you can play along with this have fun comping okay <laughs>